The military's newest and most expensive fighter jet will also be on center stage at the Miramar Air Show. The F-35 is a stealth, multi-role combat aircraft that can literally take your breath away. CBS 8's Jenny Day has more on what it takes just to go for a ride in the state-of-the-art fighter. Well, the closest thing it can be compared to is a roller coaster, but still, it doesn't even come close to fighting the Earth's gravitational pull. The F-35 fighter jet can break the sound barrier with a top speed of about 1,200 miles per hour. So it can go supersonic. Few have flown them, and only elite service members can take the helm and pull the Gs. So then I pursued jets because there's a lot of excitement and adventure in that realm. Seth Stewart flies the F-35 for Marine Corps Air Station Miramar, training daily at the highest level. Turning quickly is very important. The faster you turn, the better you can be up there and you can beat your adversary for turning faster. So sometimes if you're G limited, if, if you're the limit of the aircraft, then that could be you not performing as well as your adversary. That speed, that agility makes for a unique experience in the sky. Usually you need sufficient airspeed for the uh, aircraft to essentially grip through the sky and the faster you can you accelerate in the Y direction, you'll feel, you'll feel the force down on you. The gravitational force, better known as G-force, can be described as a measurement of the type of force per unit mass. Like seven Gs would be seven times the, the force of gravity. For perspective, you and I feel one G on a daily basis. I'm told seven Gs makes you feel incredibly heavy and like you're being pulled, hence the term pulling Gs. In a airliner, when you turn, you kind of turn like really slowly across the angle like this, but like in a fighter pilot, a fighter jet, you would turn like this and pull. Experiencing the force of gravity at that level causes some to feel nauseous or dizzy, get tunnel vision, and ultimately pass out. A slight lack of blood flow to the brain. Dr. Joe Tusandu with Sharp Reese Steely also happens to be a reservist in the Navy. It really starts with a love for that field you know you have to want to do it uh, because you're really putting your body through a lot of uh, um, exercise and stress he helped me understand what's happening to the body when you have that kind of pressure there is a disruption to the blood flow and ultimately it all depends on blood flow to the brain and fighting gravity because blood has to go back up to the brain Pilots are equipped with special inflatable G suits that provide extra G tolerance, but they're also taught to flex their legs and abs. There's also something called the Hick Maneuver, where you essentially grunt all to keep blood flowing. Back in the day, they would refer to like G monsters as in people that could handle G forces better than others. Uh, usually those people are like, like sh shorter, stockier, like higher blood pressure. And apparently there's some science behind the G-Monsters because of the distance between your heart and brain. Believe it or not, the pilots say they do get used to it or maybe just get better at anticipating it and preparing their bodies. Reporting in the newsroom, Jenny Day, CBS 8.